Hi everybody, it's Zach from English Town, and once again, welcome to English Town pronunciation course. But first, what is voiced and what is unvoiced? Well, that's easy. Your voice is what we can hear when you speak, and that all comes from your vocal cord found in the throat. Now, when a sound is voiced, you can feel it as you touch your uh, vocal cord, your throat here. You can feel your throat vibrating. So, v, the letter V is a voiced letter. But when it comes to a letter like S, ah, it's not using my voice. So, unvoiced. The first sound that we're going to take a look at is the sound th, like in the word think. Think. Now, it's pretty simple, but take it slow. When it comes to this sound, you have to bring out your tongue, uh, make it flat, uh, and then try to bite down on your tongue as you let some air flow through your teeth. So it should look like this. Uh, uh, mm. So remember, it has to sound like this. Okay. Let's take a look at some words using this sound. Think. Thick. Theme. All right. I hope that you tried it as well and got it as well as me. The next sound is very similar. But there is one difference. In this case, you want to feel your throat. And if your throat is vibrating, then you are using your voice. And that's what you need to do with this. Bathe. Clothing. These. Now, in all cases, my throat was vibrating. And you should do the same as well. Top tip for you guys, if you're having some difficulties with these sounds, get yourself a mirror. As said previously in other episodes, a mirror is a great tool to check how you articulate using your mouth, teeth, as well as your tongue. In this case, many Vietnamese people don't keep their tongue outside long enough for the pronunciation to be heard. Now, don't forget to take your time with your tongue outside. <gasps> you should be saying think and not think. For today's game, we are going to play a tongue twister. Well, we're going to try because we all know tongue twisters are very difficult. The idea is the same as practicing the sentences we tried earlier. But in this case, we're going to have a lot more of those words with the difficult sound, and you have to say it quickly. So sometimes your tongue will twist and you will stop. So let's see if you can keep up with me. All right, let's take it slow at the beginning, and then at the end, try it a little bit faster. They thankfully think this thing is the best thing that they can throw. Ooh, that's a difficult one, even for me. All right, let's try it and do it at our fastest. They thankfully think this thing is the best thing that they can throw. Sentence challenge. Don't breathe in the dusty air. Don't breathe in the dusty air. Don't breathe in the dusty air. Next one. I like to take a bath after sunbathing. I like to take a bath after sunbathing. I like to take a bath after sunbathing. This theme park is worth visiting. This theme park is worth visiting. 
this theme park is worth visiting. I'm very happy you joined this class today as it is a very common mistake and or challenge for many of the Vietnamese speakers. Don't forget to practice and review what we saw together to get better at your pronunciation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Your turn.